September 06 it's about to turn midnight here and we're in a timeline folks right now of increased solar flare activity from the sun so what I decided to do was have a look at that um, today and see is there any increased solar activity and this is spaceweather.com I know it's it's already out of rolling over to Wednesday September 7 2011 right there strong solar activity sunspot 2083 is crackling with solar flares yesterday September 6 the active region produced an M5.3 class that's pretty big folks eruption at 150 UT which is universal time followed by an X2 point one class event at two 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 zero universal time nasa solar dynamics observatory recorded this extreme uv flash from the x flare and this is what we have here this is it it is pretty big folks um what does what does this mean in the next twelve to thirty six hours this could come crashing into earth into the magnetosphere and cell phones, radio, um, anything in the air could have a problem. Um, there could be leaks of radiation also from this. So this could be an issue because this is the first flare that is actually heading towards the Earth. The flares produce waves of ionization in Earth's upper atmosphere, briefly altering the propagation of low frequency radiation signals around our planet. Moreover, the two eruptions hurled clouds of plasma CMEs in their general direction. A preliminary analysis of Sohan stereo imagery suggests that the CMEs could sail substantially north of Earth, delivering a glancing blow to Earth's magnetic field as they pass ETA September 8th and 10th. Stay tuned for updates, solar flare alerts. So, this is something to watch out for in the next couple of days. Uh, we we may have radio issues, communication, cell phone, GPS. Um, so just be aware, folks. Uh, let's have a look at what NOAA has done with this particular reading. And as you can see, NOAA scales activity. They have updated radio blackouts to an R3. And if you look at this section right here, range 1 means minor. 2.5 is extreme so the earth is going to be right in the middle of this of radio blackouts in the next 12 to 36 hours radio blackouts R3 satellite environment plot and this is a satellite I'm not going to go into all this but reading all this data right now but uh, maybe another video I'll break all these charts down for those folks but uh, you can go there swpc.noaa.gov if you want to go and have a look so let's have a look see if we caught this on any any of the stereo um, cameras and um, what I did was I went back a couple of days to get a brief overview of what's actually going on with the sun right now I did touch on this in, in a previous video but uh, the fact that we're in a timeline of solar flares it's pretty significant right now that the sun is actually going a little bit bananas so uh, that's a pretty big flare we got today so let's have a look see if we can actually find did anything pop up with this flare so as I said next 24 maybe 36 hours may start to have some R3 communication problems some GPS cell phones um, anything that uses radios could have a could have a problem they may be slow they may be blocked they may be cell phone towers could be knocked out actually and I guess we can't get the stereo right now. Hmm. Interesting. I checked this before we came on. Okay. Let's see what else it wants to do. Interesting. Well, let's give it a second. Obviously it's loading up it's got to uh, September first. Let's see if we can get this to play. I'm nearly there. So these these are the things to stay awake and aware about um, the solar flares. That's a that's a pretty big flare we we got hit with today. So far, the first burst 
went past us but there's another burst on the way because solar flares they do what's called propagation it takes the sphere pretty quickly so um, GPS satellites may be hit so if you start seeing distortion on like your TV communications um, cell phones even even some new cars now have GPS so uh, just, just be wary of that you may not be able to get into your car in the next couple of days that could be a possibility these are all things you gotta take into account and we don't seem to want to play that particular stereo for some reason as you can see the temper first and there's already a lot of activity even back then that's like three four five days ago now uh, that's a flare right there but the difference with this flare that hit that came out with the sun today it it was it's directed right at earth where the other ones usually go around like this and go away today's flare coming directly at earth so these are things we have to pay attention to folks So let's have a look at another one of our tools that we use here. Uh, what we're going to do is have a look at any activity that has happened. And what I've done is I put together a little um, research last couple of days about the sunspots activity that we talked about three days ago that was starting to pop up and obviously with that ejection that coronal mass ejection today which is uh, rated now as an R3 we have to take note of that so and as we can see it's just what's happening so I don't know if this is a sign already so soon gonna find out I guess so 1282 let's have a look <laughs> very interesting folks very interesting okay maybe, maybe we have some uh <laughs> okay so you can get this rocking again Okay. <laughs> wow. Definitely having some issue. Hmm. Very, very interesting indeed. And looks like on their website, which is causing some issues. Hmm. Okay. Let's see if we can get going again. So it definitely seems to be uh, the image is loading. Hmm. Okay. Okay.
indeed. Hmm. So let's have a look at all the earthquake. Um, just as I was looking, Japan <coughs> and Alaska is really, really starting to pop up really big. Um, one of the other areas that went off a 5.2, which is unusual, is Russia. And uh, Russia, let's suppose just put that in. See if we can make that pop up. Russia. Oh. Let's have a look at Russia. <coughs> Russia popped off. There it is 5.2. And that was a couple of days ago. That was actually yesterday. So there's a 5.2 in Russia. There's a 4.2 in 4.6 in Japan, which just basically happened. Um, so the balance is off. This one here, there could be something in along here, this area, which is uh, the west coast of California or up into Alaska. The balance is off. So let's have a look. Uh, everything has gone on the last couple of days, last uh, ten days, earthquake was. There is definitely a pop off. It is popping off like crazy, folks. Let's have a look. Yep. So let's go back to last. Now as you can see, the ring of fire. We'll bring it around right now. These are the major quakes that have happened around the ring of fire. So you can see that New Zealand North Australia is really getting smacked right now um, Alaska Russia Japan is really getting a lot and if we add in the lower quakes that are hitting the US this is what we have folks this is what we have going on right now this is what we have going on a dramatic increase in earthquake activity coupled with the solar flare that we had today there is definitely something happening on our planet without a doubt and if we do have a look at uh, the grid here we can see there's a lot of things happening okay so just just be weary of what's actually going on the planet right now it is definitely going a bit nuts um, areas I would say to kind of keep an eye on the next couple of days or even tomorrow would be um, hmm, north of Australia and Japan region also possible down along the coast of west coast California in here in this area even southern South America this area here okay uh, one little bit of information I want to leave you with is <coughs> this is ABC 7 news today and as we all know September 27th there is due another alignment Obama to stop in Denver on September 27th mile high stop part of President's West Coast swing and that's uh, the Denver channel dot com you can find that news article so I am the Zion Zeus with your divine roots dot com tune in tomorrow blog talk radio dot com backslash the Zion Zeus follow me on Facebook the Zion Zeus stay awake and aware